Welcome back everyone, Christian Smith here. Welcome to the channel and today we have another episode of Christian Life where we see how prayer or scripture has impacted someone's day-to-day -day experience. Today joining me I have Felicia Dadis and she's going to share how scripture has touched her life. And so without any further ado, let's roll that intro and we'll hand it over to her. I remember coming out of my teen years, but I had a lot of guilt. I could think about things that I regretted doing, things that I regretted saying, and I struggled with how I could appease God. How would I make God happy with me again? So I started to think, maybe I need to punish myself. Maybe I need to do everything in the Christian life just absolutely perfectly, and then He would be happy with me. I had a very legalistic view of God because I was struggling with a lot of sins and with a lot of uh, guilt. I had a lot of shame about decisions that I regretted. But as I went through the years, I realized that there was nothing that I could do to really marry God's favor. There was nothing that I could say. I could never be good enough. But it's so amazing that when you read the Word of God, even if you don't fully understand everything, it has a way of changing you, of changing your heart, of changing your mind. But most importantly, God's Word has a way of helping you to see who God really is. And I started reading Isaiah chapter 54. And there was a particular verse that really changed things for me. In verse 4, it says, Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. And that scripture jumped out at me. I was thinking, God can actually forgive me to the point that he takes away my shame, take away my guilt and help me not to remember the things of my youth. And that was the absolute truth. And it helped me to see God in a different light. I realized that he was not this vindictive, mean God sitting on this mighty throne, just waiting to strike me down. As a matter of fact, he was willing to do, and he is and was willing to do anything possible to save me to the point that he would send his only son to die for me. And I realized that no matter what I did, no matter the guilt I had, no matter the shame uh, that was plaguing my life, He was so willing to take all of that away and to cover me with His righteousness and to make me pure and to make me right in His sight. But that knowledge of Him or seeing Him in that way only came as a result of reading His Word. The Word of God is like water that you're pouring on a plant. When you're watering, you don't see the plant growing. You don't see what's happening but it's only when the plant begins to bloom that you realize it's because you've been watering it and it's because it's been out in the sun. And that's what the Word of God did to me. Even if in the moment I don't feel a change or I don't see a change and it's not really evident, it's really as I continue to walk in Him that I realize truly the Word of God is changing me and it's taken away my shame and make me right with God. Thank you so much, Felicia, for sharing that incredible story. And um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.